guys, come and make some smothered pork chops with me. We're going to start off by cleaning our meat with some white vinegar and lemon. And then once you've cleaned it thoroughly and rinsed it off thoroughly, we're going to go on ahead and get into the seasoning of it. Um, onion powder, garlic powder, seasoning salt, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning with some black pepper and just a little bit of salt. This is what it should look like. Then you're going to get you some all-purpose flour with some corn starch. And you're going to season your flour with those same seasonings you season your meat with. Once you've done that, go on ahead and coat your meat in that flour. Now it's time to add it to the grease. Make sure your um, grease is hot. I believe the temperature is about 320 degrees. And once it's golden brown, go on ahead and take it out. If it's not done enough for you, put it back in there like I did. Now we're going to go on ahead and remove it. That is the perfect color I, will, I want in my pork chops. Perfect. And look at that. It looks so good. When I tell you these tasted amazing. These tasted so good. Just the fried part. Of course, I had to do a taste test. My children and I, we did taste it. Now we're about to get into another batch of pork chops that's coming up. And look, it's just cooked to perfection. If you follow my instructions, it'll turn out perfect every time. And again, your cookie, your your cooking temperature for your grease should be 320 degrees. Now that we've taken those out, we are going to get into making our gravy for our smothered pork chops. You're going to start with some hot oil. My choice of oil was avocado oil. And cut up an onion and cook it until it's translucent. Once it's translucent, go ahead and add about three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and pretty much we're making a roux at this point once you cook cooked the flour to your desired color go on ahead and add your water to it and you're going to stir until it thickens let it cook then stir you don't want your gravy to burn but you want to make sure it stirs in now once it looks like that you're going to add your meat this is the perfect texture to add your meat it still gives it enough time to finish thickening and also your meat is going to cook right along with it and also um, creates that smothered texture that you desire or I desire because I wanted some smothered pork chops. Once you allow it to cook for about 30 to 45 minutes with the lid covered, this is what it should look like. So delicious, so tender, you can't go wrong with it. Uh -huh. 